James O'Neill back again. I'm in uh, beautiful Camas, Washington, and I was born and raised in Clark County. And those of you that were also from this area, you, uh, you understand when you come out to Camas how much different it is nowadays from when we were kids. It's just gorgeous, it's beautiful. And today we're here to meet with Brian Cassius with Cassius Design Build, and we're gonna check out what he did inside this house. Brian, we go back about 20 years. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. We've uh, known each other for a while. It, it's a small, it's a small world. The building community you know, I, here. You know, is short still... jokes, I, I, I can recognize those, <laughs> all right? I recognize the short joke. You were telling me a little bit about this project and this is a complete overhaul of yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. So the house was originally built in 1990, I believe. And it was for the time, kind of the, 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 the style and it was a custom home and, and, uh, for 1990 standards was, was was pretty nice but it was definitely getting dated so a lot of red brick a lot of arches arched windows um, and the client really wanted to update it and kind of give it a little bit more of a kind of a modern farmhouse aesthetic I would say and uh, so we replaced all the windows with these black Anderson 100 windows uh, we completely revamped the front porch um, it used to be much smaller they wanted to bring that out kind of make it more present and inviting so we did sort of uh, timber frame details on that painted the the entire exterior the whole house um, inside and out was was completely uh, painted and updated we put a new roof on here a subtle thing that we did here that made a huge impact and this was our designer Stephanie's idea initially there's an office on the other side of this wall there used to be a pair of French doors here so that kind of limited the amount of you know how you could decorate and lay out the entry so what we did and they didn't really like the idea of when you walk in the door immediately being able to see what has become our, our client's craft room. So we, we moved the door over into the hallway to a more discreet location so she can just kind of have her stuff over there. And it opened up a lot of opportunities for making this entry feel, you know, be, you know, be able to decorate it and not feel so cut up. Very popular in the, in the 80s and 90s was this sort of sunken living room sunken dining room thing so what was weird here is you've got the lower area over in the great room and then you had a lower area here so you had to step up step down it was just very chopped up which is another thing that makes the house feel smaller when you do that so by leveling this off and then carrying the same flooring all the way through which is this um, beautiful uh, pre-finished hardwood floor that we got from contract furnishings it really makes it again feel bigger feels much more cohesive and tied together your client really wanted, you know, that wood accent look, appearance, but really not overpowering it. Yeah. So she, she had a really strong vision for, I think, the very clean, simple look with wood, natural wood accents in the right proportion so that it wouldn't be overpowering or too heavy. And so that gives it this really kind of light and bright feel, but just the right amount of pop. Um, so these, the beams that we applied here in the ceiling are an example of that, the, the warmth of the wood floor. Uh, the, the windows where you've got the white trim but the black, the black windows really kind of stand out. Um, it's just having the balance and having things in the right, the right proportion um, makes, it, makes a huge difference. You showed me the before photo of this kitchen and I, my first reaction was, wow, what an overhaul. Mm -hmm. But you really said, you know, we really didn't change that much around. We just made some minor adjustments and and obviously yeah yeah changed, I mean all the cabinets are new all the the tile and the countertops and everything but we didn't have to change the layout greatly we made a couple of key revisions that did make a world of difference to the flow of the kitchen and one of them was there used to be a door where those floating shelves are coming in from the garage so you imagine walking in here directly from the garage wouldn't feel that great it wouldn't it wouldn't be as nice plus it would break up the kitchen that much more so just Sometimes a subtle thing like that makes all the difference in the world. Now the door from the garage is in the mudroom that's adjacent to us. And that was an idea, another idea that our designer had and working with a professional designer, they see things like that and just little, little adjustments can make a world of difference. So one of the details I'd like to point out is you see this very intricate chevron um, backsplash with this marble. Well, one of the things that we did is when we planned out these, um, these shelf units, we made sure that they lined up exactly with the grout lines. And it's one of those details that you don't necessarily notice on your own, but when it's done right, it just feels good. 
from the beginning, what our client really wanted was this really great pantry. So um, her vision was to have this double pocket door with the glass and these built-in shelves um, for her microwave and small appliances. How you added these windows, increased the size of them, knocked out some of the, the walls, it's, it's almost like you increase the square footage of the home without doing that. This great room that we're in now used to have a wall dividing it in half with a two-sided fireplace, which just kind of made it feel kind of boxy and chopped up in here and kind of blocked light. So by opening, just by taking out that wall and adding these windows in this large, this is a 12 foot um, by eight foot sliding door, allows lots of light in and makes the space feel a lot bigger. As I walked into this bathroom, we came through the master bedroom. Yep. And this is the master bath. And the carpet felt like I was walking on a cloud. Mm -hmm. Well, so the carpet that you uh, enjoyed is a wool carpet. So um, it's all natural fibers, which is, you know, you just don't see that very often. So you can definitely feel the difference. This feels comfortable. We got that from Contract Furnishings as well. Um, they did a great job helping us with all the flooring, all the tile in the house, tile in the shower, everything. Um, all those surfaces came from came from those guys. We love working with them. Um, as far as the bathroom layout goes, uh, initially the door was in a different location. So we simply slid the door over about four feet because the way it was configured before, they had to have this L-shaped vanity, which was not very practical or functional. People would be bumping into each other. So by moving the door, we were able to separate the vanities. And they also, as was the style at the time, had this enormous tub deck over here in the corner. So they had, the, they had their jacuzzi tub on an enormous tub platform. And uh, they, she wanted more of a sleek kind of contemporary look. So we went with the freestanding tub, it's pretty kind of a modern design. And by getting rid of that big platform, we were able to expand the shower some and give them a nice big uh, steam shower. Now, I've been to a few homes mm -hmm. on this tour, and I'm seeing a, a lot of freestanding tubs. Is, is, yeah. that, is, that, is that what coming back? I guess it really kind of depends on the, the style of the bathroom and what they want, right? They're actually really popular right now. So the key is you have to have enough space for them because you have to have room to be able to get around and clean. And um, So the space requirement is one thing. And then in terms of style, they, they run the gamut from a contemporary um, design like this one to a very more traditional like the old clawfoot tubs. So they're pretty versatile. They are, uh, they're definitely popular right now. And I kind of feel like I'm in a spa because this is a steam shower. Right. I mean, this is, I feel like I should have a membership. <laughs> here. I mean, this is, yeah. I, I haven't, I've never seen one of these before. Well, after, uh, you know, hard day work. This is a pretty nice thing to come home to. Yeah, we, uh, it's a nice big shower. With a steam shower, you, you know, you enclose them completely. You tile the ceiling. We pitch the tile on the ceiling so you don't have the, the steam dripping down on you. It's, you know, take a little bit of planning, but uh, yeah, it's a very, very nice space. It's got the bench in it. We're in the backyard now, and prior to us coming back here, you showed me the before photos and it's a shocking transformation for for the for the better yeah i mean it, it really is amazing and i can only imagine the people that walk around this this trail back here how how kind of like they're just probably amazed with what it looks like now compared to what it was before yeah now we've gotten a lot of comments from people in the neighborhood and clients that i've also worked for in the neighborhood that have asked about it and interested in maybe having something similar on their own house so it's that's which is a high compliment it yeah it's just it's a beautiful addition to the house it gives them this really big covered space out here to enjoy and and use for entertaining um, you know we we planned it so that it gives them the shelter but also put the skylights in there so that they would get a you know on those kind of cloudier days they'd still get sun back here on the north side of the house and uh, it's worked out great. And, and I noticed that uh, the before photos had an atrium here. Yeah. And that was obviously, they're like, okay, we want to get away from the atrium look. Well, they knew that, you know, you got views out this way. We didn't have very much room to go any further out to the side. So this, we knew this was the direction we wanted to go. And then we opened up the inside, the floor plan to get more of a great room concept. And they, want, they knew they wanted lots of windows on the back of the house. Yeah, they spent a lot of time out here.